Conservative MP and former Treasury Board President Tony Clement has announced that he is ending his bid to lead the party. He made the announcement announcement on Facebook this morning. With more on this, I'm joined by CTV's Glenn McGregor. Good morning, Glenn. Hi there. Why did Tony Clement change his mind? Couldn't raise enough money, basically. Uh, this is a very difficult challenge for all the candidates who are running. We have a long list of candidates who have either declared and registered to run or who have declared but haven't registered and also who are rumored. So they're all chasing the same amount of money amongst the donor pool. The, the spending limit on the campaign is pretty high. It's $5 million. Doesn't look like anybody's going to be able to raise that money, uh, that much money, but you're going to need a lot because it's a national campaign. You've got to uh, get support all across the country in order to win this thing, uh, get support from every riding. So it costs a, a, a fair bit of money, and Clement just couldn't do that. He just didn't have the ground game, uh, wasn't able to uh, reach enough donors who were willing to actually put up cash to support his bid. So what do you think his decision means for others out there who are still considering possibly a taking a run at the leadership? Well, it means the field is only slightly narrower, and it's still, a, as I say, a very wide field. We've had a lot of people who have expressed interest in this, but there is still no star candidate in this. Uh, the two people who were considered to be the leaders, Jason Kenney, who's now running in Alberta to try and unite the right there, and Peter McKay, who said he's not interested, they're not in the race. So it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a lot of people who have who much lower profile. Clement actually was one of the higher profile people who was on that list. Uh, but now that he's gone, there really isn't anyone with a whole lot of star power. Uh, and, and it's, it's, a, it's kind of a, a slow motion race. There hasn't been a whole lot happening uh, uh, in the race other than people indicating an interest in doing it. That'll change next month. The first debate is scheduled for early November in Saskatoon. I think that you'll see the field maybe, maybe even winnow down a little bit further then because then people really start to have to commit and engage in it. And uh, it, it could be that you'll start to see some more uh, a leader emerge from that. Right mm -hmm. now, Maxime Bernier, of the people who are declared and registered, he's kind of the, the highest profile of those contenders. Lisa Raitt is waiting in the wings, uh, Ontario MP. Uh, she's got a, a, a lot of profile in the party, and people are waiting to see if she actually uh, commits to doing it or not. But right now, it's, it's kind of wide open, and the polls are showing that too. There's a, a poll out recently saying that it's, it's very evenly balanced. No one has much support amongst any of the contenders. Well, and we'll remind our viewers that the election, uh, the selection of the leader isn't until next May, so it may still seem far away. All right, just quickly, Glenn, Glenn uh, if Tony Clement plans to endorse someone, will that carry a lot of weight? It may help a little bit. I mean, what you're seeing right now is all the people who are the contenders, the more established people, are trying to rally support within the Conservative caucus. So they're looking for support from other MPs, trying to get a kind of a critical mass of them and hoping that their campaigns are going to snowball a little bit. So, yeah, I would imagine that the other people who are actually genuinely committed to seeing this leadership race through are going to be talking to Clement and trying to get him on side. I'm not sure how much resources he would bring to that race, how much clout he would bring to that race. He's an established figure. He's been in cabinet, uh, of course. Uh, he's well known. Uh, he was also in Ontario, in the Mike Harris government there. He'd ran for the leadership of the Ontario party at one time, didn't, didn't win it. Uh, so he has, he has some clout behind him, but not a huge amount. All right. Glenn McGregor joining us from Ottawa. Glenn, thank you.